and I'm rocking out with Shot Town. Shot Town. Shot Town. Shot Town. Shot Town. Urban Radio. Urban Radio. Urban Radio. Urban Radio. Good. It's your girl KT Lay. I'm rocking with DJ Malone. Shot Town Urban Radio. Shout out to Shot Town Urban Radio. What's up? It's your girl Epiphany Music, and I'm here with Shot Town Urban Radio. Y'all make sure to go follow them, look them up, rock with them. Hey, they the best. Yo, it's the one and only DJ Malone, man. How you guys doing, man? Shot Town Urban Radio. I'm back. I'm feeling good. How was your holidays? I hope you, you got everything that you wanted. If you didn't, oh well, it's not my fault. <laughs> Anyways, look. This this woman right here came all the way from Dallas to come rock with your boy, man. Now you guys know I love breaking artists. I love breaking new tracks. She got a she got that song Bad and Going In, which is fire. Why don't you go ahead and tell the people to introduce yourself real quick? What's up guys? I'm Epiphany Music from Dallas, Texas, and we out here in Houston. We about to turn up the city tonight. You know what I'm saying? Hey. We in for just the weekend. You know what I'm saying? If we come to network, I love H Town. I love showing love to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate you guys for having me here tonight. Definitely, man. So now let's go to a time machine real quick. Where did it all begin and where did it start? The song or the music? Just, just music. music. Okay, music. Well, honestly, um, I've been singing since I was nine years old. Okay. It started in church, you know, in church choir. My auntie. Um, I, we just all used to sing like, you know, a group, you know, yeah. in the choir. And so one day she was like, I want you to lead the song, you know? And so I had to learn the lyrics and learn the words and the notes of the song. And so yeah. it kind of showed me that I could actually sing, you know? Yeah. And so I fell in love with singing ever since then. I've been just, you know, I started with Stevie Wonder, learning his songs and his words, mm -hmm. singing to him. And been going ever since. So uh, like, who was your inspiration growing up? Like, who did you listen to? Oh, definitely Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. Um, what's his name from the Osley brothers? Ronald yeah. Osley. I have like a, a mad crush on him. <laughs> so, I mean, um, yeah, those were my favorite scenes. Okay. Uh, Seven Campbell also. Okay, so when was that moment you say, hey, yo, I'm going to take this music thing and I'm going to take it seriously? Um, I would have to say, um, Probably maybe ten years ago, okay. um, when my my brother was like, he he had a studio and he was like six. He was like, you got a gift. He was like, you need to just, you know what I'm saying? Just go out there and try it. You know, just get in the studio, record a song, and you might like it. And so I did, and I've been recording ever since. Definitely, man. So now that came into making records and stuff. Um, tell us about Bag and the emphasis about Bag. Well, Bag is my first solo um, single that I have released. I've done a uh, backup and I've been on tracks with other people, you know, for their projects, but I've never, you know, done my own. So it's my first. And so for my first single, I felt like it should be something that represented me entirely as an artist. Because, uh, you know, I sing and I rap also. So I wanted something that, um, that I felt was a good representation of me and that was a good quality song that, um, people can vibe with and so I went looking for like the perfect track and so um, I hit up Tasha Couture from Atlanta you know what I'm saying she's like uh, one of my favorite producers and so um, when I heard that track I was like that's the one you know what's your process on finding beat because all artists are like yo Malone I gotta find the right beat I gotta find the right sound Honestly, when I, I'm listening to beats, if the beat don't just jump out at me, or you know what I'm saying, and when I hear it, if I don't hear something, if there's, if if something about the beat touches something inside of me, then I'll, I'll work on the beat. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then uh, I'm not going to work on the beat. I don't like to force it. It has to come natural. Definitely. I, I, that's yeah. what it is right there. I, I agree with that full heartedly. So coming from Dallas, man, D-Town, man. So now I'm from Chicago. So Right. You know, I, I my first taste of Texas music was sitting sideways, boys in the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Houston. Um, my my first taste of Dallas was that um that ice cream paint job. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I I I I'm not knowing too much about Dallas history. Who are some Who are some artists Dallas wise you look up to, or just Texas? 
Oh man, so many. Uh, definitely DSR. They were like the shit back in the day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, you gotta like you have to go classic. You know when you talk about Dallas, you know you got Tom Tom, mm -hmm. you got Big Tub. You know they was part of DSR, but uh, you got Fat Pimp. You know these guys have made like classics. You know uh, yeah. Duro, he was you know kind of new school, but and and of course uh, Mr. Lucci and Mr. Yeah. Cookie. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like. Um, What's his name? Eat greedy. Uh, what's his name? Just a little mind. You know, eat greedy. Uh, yes, big cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's still my mind, but yeah, like these are like legends in Dallas. Dallas has a lot of talent, and even some of the new school. You know, people like Post Malone, Coco Leroy, Yellow Beezy. You know, uh, Mo Three. Is there's a lot of talent coming out of Dallas? Yeah. Good. And and you know what though? Um, I think that. It, I always go on like New York had a sound, they kind of took over in 2013, 14. Right. And I think exactly. Texas or the South is really coming in mm -hmm. and saying, hey, yo, we're taking, you know, the sound and this is how we is. And I, I mean, him was talking about it that how people perpetrate Texas music so much in their right. lyrics, the, cho the chopped and screwed, yeah. the way that the syrup, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's really become a mainstream in itself. Right. So like, are you, when you traveling, cause you're, you're here in Houston with me, are you looking to travel into other cities like San Antonio or? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, okay. Absolutely. Okay, so um, performing wise, where would you like to perform at and why? Um, honestly, I would like to perform anywhere <laughs> there's a check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter to me. I'll perform anywhere. I don't have any preferences as to, you know, I just want, um, I want to be able to deliver music that people want to listen to. Right. You know what I'm saying? People, music that can move people, you know, music that people can rock to. So, you know, that's my only goal. Okay. You know, it really doesn't matter if it's in Texas, Atlanta, Houston. California, it Florida, you know what I'm saying? Like anywhere, <laughs> you yeah. know. Definitely. Now, is this aiming towards an album or EP or something with the singles that you have, or are you cool with writing the singles? Um, I actually I have a lot of music. I have okay. um, folders of songs. I already originally, you know, uh, my goal was to put out my EP first, but um, it was all on beat, and so I was like, I, I don't feel like this is a good introduction. Because um, a lot of people don't know me as an artist. There's, there's some people that do know me as an artist, but a lot of people don't know that I rap and I sing. And so I felt like um, it wasn't a good idea to, to release that EP yet. So the EP is coming, but um, I'm going to do maybe three to five singles first, you know, so you can get a really good feel of who the music is. Well, and I think, I think singles in this day of age, it's okay. Yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You can. When we have, you know, streams that are like, okay, well, you can go platinum off of one song. Absolutely. That, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's, right. it's okay in this day of age. Mm -hmm. um, who would you like to work with going into the future? Um, going into the future, I would definitely like to work with Chris Brown. Um, I would like to work with um, uh, Migos. I'm like a huge fan of Migos. I would like to work with... Um, Trap Boy Freddy, honestly, I have a song that I actually just wrote, you know, I'm trying to get him on that song, but, uh, so, uh, I, there's a lot of people I would, I would like to work with, there's a list, it goes on and on. <laughs> Producer wise, who would you like to work with? Zaytoven. Oh. Cream of the crop. <laughs> okay, okay. Definitely Zaytoven, like, I went all the way to Atlanta to meet with him, you know, like, I'm, I'm super excited about working with him, you know, okay. that's on the, my to-do list. Okay, now, tw 2018 has passed, 2019 is here. What are your goals for 2019? 2019, my goal is to um, just keep making dope music, make dope records that people can feel, uh, get a record deal, um, get some solid distribution, mm -hmm. marketing, and um, take my brand to the next level because I also have a modeling company, you know, plus size yeah. modeling. And so um, I'm definitely pushing that to the next level. We, we got some exciting things coming up this year, so. I love I love when, when females say I, I don't give a fuck what you say about me. I'm yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love I love that. Right. Um, now, as far as um, going in, talk to us about going in and the emphasis about that. Okay, so going in um, now that song 
Uh, we did that like in 2015. Okay. Um, so uh, I um, I have a studio, a Broken Records Studios, and so we had like a lot of tracks just sitting around. There's a lot of artists that came around, and so it, we have like a little family, you know. And everybody's really talented, and so. There was like a song that I had did, one of those songs, I just wrote a hook to it and I never went back and finished it. And so, like my brothers do, they'll just go grab one of my songs and they'll just put a verse on it, you know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of how Going In came about. You know, my brother put a verse on it and then um, another guy, the, cunt, the artist that used to come to the studio, he put his verse on it. And so, um, that's how that's, and it turned out to be like one of my favorite songs. And so, uh, it's just been sitting in my archives and I was like, I'm gonna just, since it's one of my favorites, I'm gonna just give it out, you know, give it to the people and you know, just give a little feedback and what they think about it. Okay, that's what it is. I mean, you can't do nothing but, you know, just put it out there and let the universe work itself. Right, right, so, absolutely. I, I, I always say, man, is that, you know, you don't ever get out there how you gonna know what you're good exactly. at. It. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And um, I really do, like I said, man, hey, black people, I'm <laughs> talking to black people, make sure you support these artists, man, make sure you support them, man. That bad joint, I really am jamming to, man. I really, Thank because you. I like the video. I like good vibes, and right. you guys are just having a good time. Right, right. Like Thank you. Thank um, you. I appreciate it. Now, I haven't seen the video for going in. Is there a video in process, or what? I will listen with that. Um, it's actually not a single. Um, it's just, I have a lot of songs, you know, and so. I'm, I'm going to be doing that throughout the year. I told a lot of because that's one when, when I released the first single. That's one question I got so much. Where is there anywhere else I can go listen to your music? You know, um, you have any more music? And I'm like, yeah, I got a lot of music. So I'm just going to be giving songs out, you know, throughout the year. Okay. Hey, that's you know that's um that's a, that's a good way of marketing. You know what I'm saying? Um, now it, I I I know you probably have. Flash drives, flash drives of songs and stuff like that. What would be one of the songs that really meant something to you? Besides the one that you're pushing now, what if there was a song that really, really meant? Hey, I'm, I'm speaking from the heart. Um, I would have to say my whole entire EP. You know, um, it's called Love Story, and it's really about everything I went through um, in my relationship. You know, mostly and things that I've seen other people go through. It's really. Um, I'm very, very exposed, you know, because I talk about everything. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't hide anything. I didn't put any corners. You know what I'm saying? I just gave it raw. You know, um, the things I went through and the things that I've seen other people go through, and it was, it was more therapy for me. You know what I'm saying? Because music for me, when I listen to it, I'm going through things. You know, it helps me. Or it, you know, it helps me get angrier, or it helps me get sadder. <laughs> it helps me get happier or it helps me turn up when I want to go to the club yeah. and so um, you know those are the vibes that you're going to get from from that EP and um, there's a song um, called Love, um, a song called Done um, and uh, what's the other song? Uh, Do You okay. um, and so those three I would have to say are the ones that really have the most um, significance in my life. Yeah, as far as transparency goes. Okay. Now, as far as performing and, and everything else like that, you, you come, I know you have to be coming to South by Southwest. Absolutely. I'll be performing at South by Southwest. Um, I also will be um, in Atlanta, back in Atlanta, um, end of this month uh, for the Super Bowl weekend. Okay. I'll be performing out there and also, hopefully, Essence Festival. Okay. Uh, we're working on that. How, how is a, a performance? Because when I go to see an artist, I want to be there with them. You know what I'm saying? So right. how is a performance for me? Um, well, for me, it's, it's, it's really just engagement. engagement. You know, I like to, I like to connect with people. Really? You know, I don't want to just get up there and sing songs in front of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come and, and we're going to turn up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's going to be r and I'm going to come and I'm going to talk. You know, it's, it's going to be... I'm going to take you to where I am or where I was when I wrote the song, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you some real shit, you know, I'm not just going to get up here and sing in front of you, we're going we to vibe it out, you know, it's a vibe, everything with me is a vibe. Okay, definitely. So. Um, just a couple more questions and then, you know, I know, I know you're a busy woman and everything. So. <laughs> I know you do, uh, we be here for this. Okay, um, <laughs> now, what do you most have when you go into the studio? Like when I get on the turntables, I gotta have my pop. I gotta have some Reese's. What do you most have? 
<laughs> my must haves. I, I gotta have a little bit of liquor, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I gotta have some type of energy. You know, I like Starbucks. I know people say it's crazy, but I like Crown, I like Pepsi, and I like Starbucks. And um, it's gotta be them. You know, I don't like a lot of light. I don't like a lot of people around. It, it, I like to, you know what I'm saying, be able to move around. I need open space because I walk back and forth when I'm, you know, writing and, and recording, making music. I, yeah. I do this pace, you know what I'm saying? I just walk back and forth, back and forth. So I need space, you know, and, and not a lot of light. Okay. Processing on your writing, how, is it that the similar way you just have to kind of be in that zone or how is that process going for writing as well? Um, I don't have just a, every single, you know what I'm saying, like it's not a strategic, it's just like whatever the vibe is, like yeah. I may be in my car and write it, like the last song I wrote I did in 30 minutes, I was sitting down and he sent me an email and I just sat up on the edge of my bed and I wrote the song and we yeah. recorded it the next day, but there's other songs where, you know, I took my time with it and I wrote one verse and then I came back a month later and wrote the other verse, you know what I'm saying, it took time to finish, but Sometimes I don't write at all. I just go and get in the studio, just get on the mic, and just whatever comes out is what it's gonna be. Real. Yeah. Now let, let's dab into the modeling just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now as far as modeling, how did you get into doing that? What was, what was going on? Well, I've always wanted to be a model. I always I love taking pictures, but uh, you know I've been to the casting calls and I've never gotten chosen. You know they say plus size model well they want you to be like a size 14 or you know a, a smaller it's a particular body type that they go for and you know i've never been there and so i was like to hell with this i don't make my own modeling company you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna cast myself and i'm gonna go find ladies you know that that have the same uh, you know grievances that i do you know they want to <laughs> I, I respect that because i've been in a, in a situation where I've been, you know, negated towards, oh, well, you can't do this. Right. And I know I'm better than half these guys out there. Exactly. On on, on another tip, it's just like, okay, well, you ain't going to let me in. I'm going to find my own way. Absolutely. And, and in this day of age, it can be done. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, when you look at shows like the Joe Budden podcast. Right. And he's making numbers by himself. No promo, mm -hmm. no heavy machine. It can be done, yeah, and I and I respect people who can who can do that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, it's something I want to do. So you know, I opened, um, I started the modeling agency in 2015, and um, I mean, but we don't just do modeling. You know, it's a uh, we do um, you know confidence building. Mm -hmm. We also do um, we do we have other events and other things we do. But I just want to not only show the world that uh, you know plus size women can got the juice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can look good too. But I also want women to understand that you're beautiful where you are. You know, so you should always strive to be healthy and be the best you can be. But you need to learn how to love you where you are, regardless mm -hmm. of what everybody else says. Nobody can tell you who you are and what you are. You define you. And so I love you. that's what I want to push. How, if somebody wants to get into that the modeling agency, how would they go about doing that? Um, you can uh, contact. Um, um, we have uh, our Facebook page, uh, Beautiful Body Women. Um, and that is regular spelling, beautiful body women. Look it up on Facebook, shoot an inbox, and somebody will contact you. Okay, definitely, man. Now, last question, last question. If you could pick anybody to be, but you only can pick one, to be on the track, who would that one person be? Anybody? Maybe. I'm gonna say Drake. And the only reason I say Drake is because you can't go to Drake and ask Drake to do a song with you. Drake has to pick you. Right. So. Boom. Right there. That means I've made it. I'm officially there. If I'm on the track, if I'm on the track with Drake, I've officially made it. So that's why I'm gonna say Drake. Boom. Microphone drop. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Give us Facebook and Twitter everything where they can find you. Um, Facebook, um, Epiphany Music. Um, e P I P H A N E music. Instagram is the same. Twitter is Epiphany Music One. Spelling is the same. YouTube Epiphany Music on all social media. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Thank God that you have, have the same name for everything. <laughs> I have people who have different stuff, and they're like, "Go oh, find me on underscore oh fifty five six oh, no. six. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me everywhere at DJ Malone Pro. 
That's for Facebook, Instagram, Black Planet, Craigslist, all that good stuff. Shotown of a Radio, Shotown of a Radio dot com, and we do appreciate you guys tuning in, vibing with us, and everything else like that. Epiphany, man, thank you for coming. Man. Thank really. you for having me. I appreciate it. I really do. I really appreciate. It. I'm excited about working with you, and I know this is about to be twenty nineteen. 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 What they say? They did what? They decided to go with somebody else. Somebody else like who? Yeah. Another artist that's better than me, I guess. Okay. First of all, don't ever fucking say that shit again. There is no fucking artist better than you. And don't let that shit discourage you, bruh. We are about to take over. Fuck them. There is no better artist than you, my nigga. Right, right, right. Oh, on to the next. You understand me? Yeah, yeah we got this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna run away and say fuck how it feel Go get me a Pepsi and some Crown, pull up and chill I don't wanna talk, just wanna roll and pop a pill I can't go to sleep tonight, ain't no going to sleep tonight I've been running, I know, can't wait on nobody I gotta go, you know I'm a savage and my heavy smoke I don't go get it, then I'ma be broke And giving me shit, can't count on these hoes Clean up, be fumming, but plot on the low Faking the love, they got for me so Selling fake tickets to shows when I blow, oh Time don't wait for nobody, nobody Keep, keep moving in that room They don't go TikTok if you stop watching, keep moving You only gon' get one life, gotta stay up at the keys It gotta watch the way you're moving Stick us, count, fuck up, you lose it Best shit, yeah I need a bag I need a bag I'm on my best shit Yeah I need a bag I need a bag I'm on my best shit Can't wait on nobody The money keep falling And I need a bag I need a bag I'm on my best shit Get fifties and hundreds You're running and running Yeah, I need a bag I'm getting a bag Yeah, keep yeah. So I put when I get it I'm counting it up 50 hundreds and twenties We at the casino She's shaking the titties We maxing the bed We keep hitting We hit it Got the same blood So you know we both pretty Shout out to my sister Whole summer was lit Give me five more minutes Running it up Look at Wayne Yeah, I'm in it I'm in it I don't think If I want it, I did it Everything I think I can do I done did it I think I can do everything And I'm with it Been sleeping too long About to wake up the city Niggas is blind But they still on the witness The body away from the ink When I'm spitting Body in a boot No tattoo But you feel me Body in it Behind my side To the living I just wanna run away and say fuck how it feel Go get me a Pepsi and some Crown, pull up and chill I don't wanna talk, just wanna roll and pop a pill I can't go to sleep tonight, ain't no going to sleep tonight Time don't wait for nobody, nobody Keep, keep moving in that room, they don't go TikTok If you stop watching, keep moving You only gon' get one life, gotta stay up at the music Gotta watch the way you're moving Slip us, count fuck up, you lose it Best shit, yeah I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my best shit, yeah I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my best shit Can't wait on nobody, the money keep falling And I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my best shit Get fifties and hundreds, you're running and running Yeah, I need a bag, I'm getting a bag